Hello! Hello, hello! I'm late. Sorry. <laughs> I got a little distracted. Odd, I know! Happy Monday! Is everybody ready to play tonight? Welcome to Tamara's Paper Trail. I am Tamara. That's that's Gerald, my screaming goat. Apparently he has a lot to scream about tonight. Give me a hidey ho. Let me know who I'm playing with tonight. Hopefully I'm on the right uh, channel this week. I hope so. I think so. I think I checked. Give me a hidey ho. See if anybody is playing with me tonight. If not, I've done this all for nothing. <laughs> Ah, hello, Donna. There's Mary. Oh, everybody at the same time. Hi, Mary. Hello, Tracy. Karina. Oh, hi, Karina. I'm looking so forward to... Hi, hola. Oh, there's Gail. And Tracy seems like... I know. I know. I know. I cannot wait until... Hi, Paulette. Oh, hi, Kim. Kim from Seattle, not from Ontario. See, it takes me a while, but I get there in the end, Kim. If you ever change your profile picture again, I'll be messed up. Um, Hi, Janet. Oh, and Mary Jean, look at you. Oh, yay, Nikki. Good for you. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Joy. Thanks for popping in, you guys. Um, is anybody surprised that I was literally making the card like three minutes ago? <laughs> okay, did anybody, did anybody recognize the layout? <laughs> Full disclosure. Hey, Debbie is here. Yay, Debbie. We haven't stamped with you in so long. Hello, my love. Um, Full disclosure, today was one of those days, you know, and <laughs> as much as I tell the children and my husband that Monday is my busy day, every, they know this, they know it to their core, Monday is my busy day. So today, um, here's what my day looked like. I, I slept in till 740 because I was up from mm, three until five or so, right? So I passed out hard. I wake up at 74, 740. <gasps> Where's Craig? Craig's not up. Craig's not up. He has to start work at 7.30. What's going on? <laughs> so everybody's late. I jumped in the shower. Uh, I got ready. I had to run off to an appointment for nine o'clock. My Jenny Craig down 13 pounds, ladies. Uh, sure am. Thank you, Gerald. Um, get home at 10. Oh, I went to register my, my vehicle uh, because the registration was due only to find out. No, it's not due. It's my husband's vehicle that's due. <laughs> so come back home it's 10 o'clock oh gotta walk the dog oh gotta feed the dog oh gotta take princess to the mall um oh so I get home it's like 12 30 oh gotta take my other daughter to go get uh, pants and shoes for work and oh I get home and it is a uh, quarter to four I haven't even had my coffee yet you guys so <laughs> I pulled I pulled out um one of the layouts I liked from the past and we're doing that one tonight so now, I, I feel really bad for Nancy because Nancy thinks she's doing exactly... Hi, Lucy. Bonjour. Hi, Crystal. Oh, look at Leslie's here. The gang's all here. Excellent. Um, I feel bad for Nancy. Don't hurt me, Nancy, but we're not doing that card. <laughs> the paper that you pulled, that one retired. So, man, that's with, that's in a whole other room now. Um, I was going to make it tonight for you so that you could follow along exactly. But, yeah, I can't because it's over there. Okay. So, hands up. I know, 13 pounds, right? Now... I'm not going to lie. I'm disappointed. By now, I wanted to be down 17 pounds because the little brochure said, you know, lose up to 17 pounds in a month. So I'm like, I got this. I'm, I'm above average in every way. <laughs> so I can do this 17 and some pounds. Yeah, no, it's only 13. And she's like, well, that's the average. I'm like, well, y'all lie. She says, well, no, that, you know, up to, yeah, up to a few lady. Anyway, I was going to quit. I was, I was, I went in and I said, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> It's been a month I'm done, <laughs> but I'm not done. I'm in it for another week, however. And I look at, you know, we're just, we're in a chat here. We're not actually in the stamp tonight. Um, I even had a a treat day for my mama's birthday on Saturday. So I had Chinese food. Sure did. Yeah, uh -huh, I did. And I still lost 2.8 pounds this week. So it was a good week. Um, so I decided, okay, one more week. Um, I'll, I'll just do one a week at a time. That's all I can commit to. So anyway, yes. Hello, Pat. Look at you commenting. All right. Let's flip this around. Let's flip. Let's stamp. So, <laughs> all right, here we go. And breathe. Okay. Let's roll our shoulders, ladies. We have, oh, oh, who knows? Okay. Let's flip back to me. Who notices something different about me today? No, it's not a new hairdo. It's just something crazy is going here. I flipped a little bit the wrong way. And my hair is very tired. Not new glasses, but who else? Is anything else different other than you know I'm a svelte 13 pounds lighter 
comment accordingly. Something about me is different. I'm just as cool as ever. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, here's, here are the pieces we need. Literally three minutes ago, I was, uh, Hey, <laughs> all right. Clean room, Jackie. Come on. No, it's about me, Jackie. Mary might have it right. Look at all this color I got going on. You guys, <laughs> I am moving easier, Janet. That's 13 pounds. Ago. Look at, I have green on today. <laughs> now this is my standard tank top and I don't know if it clashes or not, but Hey, I got a whole new shirt and it's not black. So look at me, look at me pushing the boat, you guys. Are you proud? <laughs> oh, I need a drink. If only I could drink my calories. Okay, <laughs> let's start, shall we? It seems like there's a lot of people here who came in to make cards. Well, I had some fun this afternoon. Watch the Amazon driver spend about five, 10 minutes looking for my package in his van. Oh, Jennifer. Well, I hope he was good looking anyway. Yeah, it, that, no, it's, it's a green. It's green. Look at that. That's green. Oh, it's evening evergreen, you guys. Oh my God. It's my favorite green. Ah, I don't look at my card. Okay. <laughs> Let's craft. Oh my God. I'm such a gong show. <laughs> I am Jackie. I didn't even realize it was evening evergreen. No wonder. And you know, the best part, it was regular $65 and I got it for $18.88. Sure did. Sniffed out that deal, ladies. Mark's Work Warehouse on clearance. They had gray. I chose green. <laughs> yeah, it's the same size paper, Nancy. Yeah, everything's the same. It's just I'm not making that one. So you were going to color. You were going to follow along exactly, right? So sorry, sister. <laughs> All right, we've got our card base. Eight and a half by five and a half. Ta-da. We have a cardstock layer. Now, I might have neglected. Okay, I sure did. I didn't even tell you, but I would like to emboss this piece, please. So if you all have your cut and emboss machines, find a folder that will match um, the feel of your paper. So um, if you're doing Christmas uh, paper, there's this lovely snowflake folder that might go nicely. Look at this one. It's only a halfer. So it's not, uh, it's not full, but you can run it through twice. If it's flowery, we got lots of options for that. We have all kinds of things you can use, right? Hi, Helga. Um, if you are using, hint, hint, some pansy paper, you might want to use, um, what might you want to use? Oh, let's just randomly say this textured something or other folder so if you have a minute let's just uh, run this through our cut emboss machine and make it all textured does anybody else do what i do i have to label my stuff because i'm not that bright half the time so this is the one i know to use with thick folders and then somewhere i've got ones that say embossing folders only so like I like to I love my label maker Donna thank you for the yellow labels so these ones are only used for the embossing folders that's why they're not all mangy like this one thing's disgusting <laughs> should have that like swabbed and see what see what's being carried on that disease wise maybe that's what started COVID our dirty cutting plates what do you think could be. Could have happened. All right, so now I have a textured thingy. I'm going to tape that right down. Sure am. I'm going to tape that right now. Get that out of the way before I lose it. Could happen. Right, Jennifer, thank you for recognizing I'm a genius. Teenage girls seem to think that I'm a moron. So thank you for validating that I know that I'm not a moron. Mm hmm. That's a whole nother bottle of wine. I'm crooked. There we go. Okay. Uh, what else do we need? Now we need some designer paper. This is such a quick and easy layout, you guys. And y'all who've been playing for the last year should recognize it. You really should. All right. Now this is part of my pansy paper. So I cut this piece two and a half by three and three quarters. So it's two and a half long by three and three quarter wide. So the direction does matter. I'm going to actually use this side because I've made one with this side already. So let's mix it up and go real crazy. I need scissors. I had four pair a minute ago. Here we go. All right. Uh, will I send you a present now? 
I just might Jennifer, but you know I'm going to forget in 30, uh, 30 minutes. Yeah, you know me. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to take our designer paper. It is, hi Gail. Hello, welcome. Uh, this is two and a half wide. So we're going to put a little slit at one and a quarter ish. So about here, this paper, it's so um, perfect for Easter. That's what I love about our designer papers is the one side. Yeah, it's all flowery and don't know that I love that palette, that color palette right there. But this works perfectly for Easter. And with all of our designer papers, which happen to be 15% off right now, most of them, um, Lucy says, don't worry, you'll get smarter when they move. Oh, that's great to know, Lucy. I can't wait to get smarter. Mm. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Um, well, I'll try to remember, Jennifer. How about that? Okay. Back to my story. We're going to snip it up the middle that much. I don't know. That much. Not a whole lot. And then we're going to cut from the corner to the slit. If I can still see it. And from the corner to the slit. And I can't because... I, I cut oh that's crooked <laughs> anyway that's supposed to oh my <laughs> look at how crooked that is let's fix that Tamara that's the cheater's way oh lord look at that big pig's ear of this okay anyway there we go we have a flag end oh hi hi Carolyn I haven't talked to you in a while <laughs> don't hold your breath <laughs> I'm not feeling the love Donna come on now all right. Anyway, this is what we have. A lovely piece of paper with a flag end. I'm going to tape that down. No, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. Okay. This is a really, really, really versatile layout. It's quick and easy, especially if you have pieces cut out already. All right. So there we go with this piece. Um, the other cent the, nope, the other strip is three by one half inch. So you should have a chunk you know, left over after you were trimming your paper. And so I just made that three by what, uh, by a half. And you can just flip it over like this and tape that down. Does anybody recognize this layout yet? You should, unless you're new here. Oh, this one has given me major grief this time. Must be really gummed up somewhere in there. Y'all know this trick that if you, if you have a silicone mat, Oh, this one's so dirty. This is embarrassing. <laughs> if you have a silicone mat, you can uh, start your tape. Just roll it on the silicone and it catches every time. There's your Tamara's tip for today. <gasps> the TTT. No, Tamara's tip. I don't know. TTT. There. Okay. Almost done. Now we need a sentiment. And for that, I said a one inch by two and three quarters. So two and three quarter long by one inch wide. And then if that doesn't work for whatever sentiment you have, if it's too small or if it's too big, we can trim it down. Purple gingham, I know. Donna, you love me really though, right? My children keep saying they love me, but I tell you, I'm not feeling it. Now, here's a nice word. It just says birthday, but I need the happy to go on top of it. I don't know if it'll fit. I was creating yesterday all day. An unusual Tamara, oh, it's a little bit too small. In usual Tamara fashion, uh, I designed all three cards and prepped all three cards to get in the mail today. And I did it, but it means a lot of hours of sitting in this chair. It was fun though. This is the set I was playing with, The Biggest Wish. That's a class I have coming up. I want to see if this happy fits on here. So I hope y'all are finding some. No, that's not going to work. I want it to work. It's not working. Okay. Um, this one works, but it's a little bit too small. This is a fun set that I just kind of stumbled across. I'm like, oh, what is this that I own? <laughs> uh, what was it that I own and where did I put it? I don't know. I don't know what it... No, it's not Pansy Patch. I wonder what it was. <laughs> um, huh. It was a fun little set that I'd never seen before, but I apparently own. Hmm wonder where it is wonder where it went <laughs> uh it was something about shade shades of spring or something i don't know what it's called uh and i have no idea where i put it why would i know that why oh huh. 
shades of something. Shades of seasons, seasons of shade. I don't know. Spring shades. I don't know. If anybody knows what it is or where it is, do let me know. Hmm. Oh, found it. It's over in the Christmas section. Natch. Natch. Shaded summer. Close. <laughs> Tamara's tip tonight. There you go. TTT. Tamara's tip teaser. Hoo -hoo, I got all the things going on with the teas. This is cute. Look at the font. You guys know me. Bit of a haunt, font freak. That's not the phrase I usually use, but this is supposed to be a family rated show. So anyway, um, the happy birthday. And I'm going to get out some ink, which apparently I cleaned up. Does that make sense? All right. So I'm going to stamp on my sentiment, my happy birthday in gorgeous grape. And this I have discovered is completely botched. Look at that, how it's cut. Come on. I turned that over and I tried to center it and I'm like, what the, look at all that space. Not nice nails, Tamara. Thank y'all. Okay. Let's close that up before I get my finger in it. Um, I need a trimmer because it's not quite the right size for me. So that, that size I gave you, it could be okay for some sentiments, but it's a little bit big for this guy. He's getting a little bit lost. So I'm just going to trim them down a bit. So my mom's birthday went very well. Y'all saw my cake posts, right? That cake. So for those who aren't familiar with the cake story, I'm just going to keep crafting while we chat. Um, that cake, it's called a genie's cake. And it's a famous cake that is made in Winnipeg. And my mom grew up in Winnipeg and, uh, She's not a dessert person, but this is one cake that she loves. And so I spent hours trying to get a cake, as you know, from last week, from Winnipeg to Edmonton. Long, long, long story, a little bit shorter. Okay, so I just happened to flag in this just because I like that look. And I'm going to pop it up on dimensionals down here. Um, I found out, like I called the store in Winnipeg. No, they don't ship out of province. And I'm like, yeah, he says, because... It doesn't look like a cake when it gets there. <laughs> he says, but there is a vendor in Calgary that sells our cakes. So then I was on a mission to get a cake from Calgary to Edmonton. I almost drove down to Calgary. And then I find out two hours too late that my cousin was coming. He lives in, um, where's he live? Just outside of Calgary had to pass through Calgary. It was coming to Edmonton, but I found out when he was one hour away from Edmonton. I'm like, are you kidding me? Anyway, so Alicia and I made the cake and my mom, when she saw it come out, she was, her face lit up like a Christmas tree and she's like, oh, is that a genie's cake? Because it looked just like it. Hi, Lynn. And um, so we had to tell her, no, we made it, but she confirmed that it did taste just like a genie's cake so we nailed it it was so good and it, the reason that she loves it so much too is because it's not very sweet she doesn't she's not a real fan of sweet and uh yeah so that went really really well now what i'm going to do here um i'm just going to show you uh in case anybody is wondering what this is going to look like but i think you can take it from here this is the main layout and then we just decorate all right so here's the one that i made earlier using the pansy paper again. Now these pansies, I think I'm going to start a new segment called, what should I call it? Did you know? Or, huh, who knew? Huh, who knew? <laughs> that, well, I know some of you knew, but I, I don't pay that much attention, you guys. I kind of knew, but I kind of forgot that there are dyes that cut out this, these pansies. So this pansy bundle, is fabulous. It's divine. It's glorious. It's all that and a bag of chips. It can be a pain in the sraka, which if anybody knows Polish, sraka is but, but maybe a swear word, but it's a pain in the sraka to put the flowers together, right? Now, so these are, these are all the pieces I used to make, oh, look at me going to fly this card. Tamara, it's beautiful. Thank you. It is beautiful. I love this card. It took a while because <laughs> you have to punch out all these pieces. You got to glue them all together, which is great. 
if you're in the mood for that. Tonight, we're not in the mood for that. So we cheat. Let's look at all these pieces. I had to cut out all of these pieces for this card. Multiple times for some of them. Okay. Now, but I digress. Uh, the dies will cut out all of these. So yay. Yay for making my life easy. All right, so I'm just going to decorate that in a minute, but I'm going to show you some other versions of this layout. Okay. Um, yeah, meanwhile, you guys come up with a good name for my new segment. Kind of like, huh, who knew? <laughs> That's me, right? So this was one I had made using the strawberry. Sweet strawberry? I don't know, something strawberry. Some of those strawberries. <laughs> this is this one. I love this. I love it. Now, this is another one that I did using the hydrangea paper, which I guess is now retired, so it's also on the floor over there. So, Nancy, this is kind of what your card is going to look like, I'm thinking, with your dragonfly. I love this one. Say what, says Carolyn. Is that what my segment should be called? Say what? Or... But I don't know how to spell that. <laughs> this one I like. This one took me way too long to figure out how to embellish, though. So this, um, I used the um, schmear folder, which might be the fine art something or other. Did you know? I like that, Jackie. Thank you. Um, the fine art 3D embossing folder on this one. Because to me, it looks like a snow drift, like snow drifts. Who knew? Yeah, I kind of like that one, Leslie. I like that one. Um, I digress again. Right, so that's the folder I use. I use, this is the, pa uh, this paper is on sale as well, 15% off. It's the six by six. I was just going to say you'll sound like Gerald. <laughs> Scratch and sniff. <laughs> is that the name of my segment, Donna? No. <laughs> um, oh, now you got mail. Flustered and flabbergasted. Okay, so the dies that I used for this card, I might have cleaned up. Nope, I didn't. I threw them on the floor. Nope, that's not them. Good Lord. I uh, wonder where I put those. Here they are. I don't think I have the matching set yet. It's on its way. It should be here Friday. Seasonal labels dies. Oh, st scratch and sniff with the strawberries. It's not a scratch and sniff, but it could be. Because <laughs> that would be a really weird segment name. <laughs> These are the dies I used for this card. Um, the And I don't have the stamp, so I just cut things out and decided to figure out what they look like. I figure these probably layer on top of this. Um, but there's some really nice leaf. Leaf? Leaf. Leaves. Leafs. And there was some holly, which I seem to have misplaced. Ooh, shocking, I know. Shocking. Shocking. Okay. Um, it's 724. Oh my goodness. You're going to make me do some more, aren't you? Uh, all right. I, I can try to go rogue, but you know, it's probably not going to end well. I'll get, I don't know. So tired. Did I mention I'm tired? No coffee. I don't know. And how about some water? Hi, Denise. You can't be serious. All right, Jenna. I'll keep that in the running. Um, I'll tell you uh, at the end when I do show and tell for my upcoming class, there's a few things I found out that I was like, wow, huh? Who knew? <laughs> okay. Um, Denise, do you have, you must come off your meeting at this time. Do you, is that where I, why you come in at this time or tell me about your life, Denise? Um, what paper should I use ladies? Hmm. What paper shall I use? Now, I'm almost afraid to ask that because you're going to come up with something weird. Um, I want a paper that has an easy embellishment to go with it. So don't get all crazy on me. So I have all the papers, but I might not have all the matching sets. Like I don't have this matching set to this paper. So I don't want to use that necessarily. I was thinking of using the Beauty of the Earth. I haven't sliced that open. The Big Cats, is that what it's called? I don't know what this one's called. It is called In the Wild. It has some really pretty papers on the other side. I did not know that. I didn't know that. Yes. 
one that you haven't opened yet yeah i know i used this one i'm thinking the beauty of the earth because i haven't used that one yet and i thought i could use a tree for an embellish oh look at i like a subtle pattern with a pop of color on the edge huh I don't have the cat set yet, but I've run out of things to buy. So it might be on my list. Well, not to buy, but when I get free stuff. I need to be inspired, though, because I'm not uh, I'm not all here tonight. Oh, you know what? I can use the hand penned. I got to tell you, though, I don't love this color palette. I really don't. It is too... Uh, it's just too pastel for my liking. It's pretty in its own right. It's just not Tamara, right? It's just not me. So that one, but there are, I mean, I do like these. I like this color. But, okay. All right. Let's look at this paper. I don't know. I'm not promising anything at this point. Use Beauty of the Earth, says Jennifer. Okay. I could try. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared, you guys. All right. I also have... Oh, it's gonna have a matching something to go with it. All right, let's look at here. I never finished my pansy. Oh well, I guess I've moved on. Hmm. 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 Uh huh. Uh huh. Hmm. I don't want the busy side. Okay. Well, I could use this with a tree, or I could use this with a snowflake. Would that go with a snowflake? That's winter scene, right? It's froofy. <laughs> it is froofy. My fruit, I don't think I'm froofy. Hey, like this is way outside my comfort zone wearing like evening evergreen. Okay, so should I do like a tree? I'm kind of feeling the tree. All right, I'm doing it. This could be the corresponding one on the side. Totally goes with snowflake. Okay, well, these are two options. Now, what's on the other side of them? Hmm. No, not. Oh, that's pretty. I hate to cut this stuff, but I must. I can buy more, right? This stuff is on sale too, you guys. 15% off is like 13 something plus tax. All right. I'm just moving paper around now. Oh, that goes really nice too. Oh, this could be with a leaf. Do we have any good leaf, 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 leaves? Oh, it's coming. I don't have it yet. All right. So now I'm going to figure out what I've got. And... We'll go from there. So I do have, I have a snowflake set. Let's see what this would look like. Maybe I have some, oh, I do have some cut out. Yay me. Yay. My Stampin' Up! catalog should come. Oh, look, these are felt pieces I cut out last year out of the white felt. Now we do have felt coming out again in this next catalog, but I can't remember what color, but there's no white. But hey, I like that. That's pretty, right? I also have... Did I say I don't... Did I... S I started to say, but then I forgot to finish saying. Friday, my first team get-together since last March or February. I am so excited. I can't even tell you. Have I designed the cards? Have I heck? But I got all the swag came in today, ladies. And I am so excited for our social. I can't even. I can't even. Okay. This tree set. What goes with it? Something about trees, right? Uh, beauty of friendship, I bet. Look at the big brain on me. I know, Denise. Oh, okay. The tree set. Oh. Huh. Oh. Settle down. It's over here in a whole other box. Well, you just need to time your uh, your trips this way. A little bit. Oh, that's going to be a really big embellishment, though, if I do trees. What else we got? I got the tree punch. I've mastered that thing. In a different color, perhaps. That'd be too small. Huh. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay. I think we have a winner. Getting out my tree punch. This is too big. Too big, don't like it. Well, I like it, but okay. Uh, friendship refreshes the soul. Hmm. Is that what it does? 
I thought it increased my wine bill, but okay. Um, I want to play with the trees. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just cut this paper. And then we'll see what happens here. What are my dimensions? Two and a half by three and three quarters. So two and a half. Do those look like trees? They do, right? You can tell it's a tree. Two and a half. And three and three quarters. Okay, so let's go like this. Three and three quarters. Got to check out your workshop. Yes, you do, Carolyn. Okay, I have one space left and I'm placing an order tonight. So, uh, otherwise I won't arrive in time. Um, so if you want in on my biggest wish, I will show you the cards. I, this two and a half. See, I get chatting. Focus, Tamara. Um, it's on the 16th of July. Oh, no, this would be good with a leaf, but I'm not doing the leaf. I'm going to do the trees because why not? I'm going to sp slit up the middle here. How are your cards coming along? Anybody cracked off a bunch yet? Okay, like that. Now I am going to show you. I kind of hate. Oh, see, now I'm dropping stuff. I blame Donna for that. Now, I hate to cut uh, just a half an inch off, but I'm going to half an inch by three. All right. No white felt coming, but white velvet. Ha. I just found two packages of, it wasn't velvet. It was a white something that we carried a while back. Wait, it wasn't, I don't know what it was. Was that three? Am I supposed to do three? Three by a half maybe? Yes, okay. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Got one card base left. Okay. <sighs> tomorrow, what's tomorrow? What's tomorrow hold for me? nothing that's a lie I have to go spend a whole bunch of money on Rebecca's shoes she needs new shoes for standing all day so today I bought her the $50 compression socks and new pants because the pants she had weren't long enough they didn't cover her ankles I'm like what are we in the 50s here we can't show our ankles or the 30s or whenever they couldn't show ankles anyway try to find pants these days that aren't floods I don't I don't personally like the style myself of the short pants gig we got going on but I found some pants or we found some pants that were long enough and so of course we got two pair uh so we roll around here and then we went and got these compression socks and tomorrow we have to go and get the ridiculously expensive shoes <sighs> I know I thought adulting I thought I was done with adulting the older one she's 18 I thought I could just cut her loose right checked it okay Carolyn did you do you like the cards did you see the cards while you were checking I'll show you. It'll be show and tell in a minute here. It's only 7.34. See, these cards are that quick that... Okay, so I use this bark embossing folder because... Duh. Right, then we're going to put down our little tree paper. I was going to do a whole different thing tonight. We were going to play... What's it called? We were going to play four, four in a row. That's not what it's called it's called not connect Four. maybe connect four it would be called the connect four and so it was just going to be you had to pick so i'm going to give you a grid four across by four down and there's going to be 16 squares and you have to make a card using the four four things either diagonally or across or down or over four that have to connect so and each little square will be um like use an embellishment um, use, um, use ribbon or something. So you have to have these four things in your card and y'all have to make the four of them line up. Oh yeah, Carolyn. Okay. So that's it. My class. Well, it's, it's full. I can always cut more. I'd cut for 12. So that's 12. Awesome. I will hook you up, Carolyn. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to put this anyway. That's what I was thinking of doing today. Oh, for the love of God. Silicone mat, where are you? 
Look at this game. Oh, this is a dodgy one, I tell you. Oh, come on, man. Work with me. We've had a hard day. Okay. All right, like that. Now, somewhere I have something for my sentiment. What sentiment am I going to use? I don't know. Where'd the stamp set go? Should I put it back? Nope. Not that good. All right, friendship. Let's see if this fits. Friendship refreshes the soul. Hey, so here's, for those of you who might not have had a new um, photopolymer stamp set in a while, this is how they do them now. They print on the inside. They have a, a thingy. Um, an insert that's printed so that you can then just take your stamps, put them inside the case. You will now know if anything is missing, etc., etc. Friendship refreshes a soul. Totally fits. It was meant to be. It does, doesn't it, Tracy? I should do that. Maybe I could do that tomorrow for a check it out Tuesday. Cause something tells me my day is going to go sideways again, and I won't get done what I was thinking of doing. I was thinking of doing a double tent fold card. Now I've never even done a single tent fold card. I'm like, what the heck is a tent? I've seen them. I've never, it's those, there's sidestep cards. I've never done one of those either. I don't know. Lots to do. I wanted to offer training you guys. I, oh, I want to use early espresso. I wanted to or, um, organize some training for my demonstrator friends on how to grow their business. Um, because here's the deal. I'm like $600 in sales away from the trip. And I thought, okay, I'll throw in some, some training. The cost will be a $50 order and you'll get like two hours with Tamara, which will teach you different things you need to consider in moving your business forward and, or gunning for that trip. Things you need to do. And it'll be tough love, sisters. Why you had no coffee? Oh, I was so busy, Carolyn. I, um, it was, it was just, a, that's crooked. Uh, it was just too busy. I was uh, on the road by quarter to nine. And I needed a shower first, so. And coffee, I've decided, is not that good. Okay, this is a little bit too small. I think I need bigger. I don't know. I drink coffee really just to stay alive. I don't know that I actually love the taste of it. And especially now I don't, I'm, I'm not uh, putting any cream in it. I'm trying to get off the sugar. Yeah, just takes all the fun out of it, you know? Okay, let's try this again. Friendship. Okay, let's see. Oh, thanks, Denise. It's going to be a little bit different. Like, it's not everything that I've taught you. You have had uh, bits and pieces of what to do. But I was, um, I thought I might actually sit down and draft out, I know, what? Actually plan a few things to say. So I'm thinking about it. It would be August 6th is a Friday, I think. And I have a gap in my schedule. So I, to me, I take that as a sign that it was meant to be, that I was supposed to fill it with training. Stay tuned. We'll see. We'll see what I come up with. Bailey's, oh, that would be lovely, wouldn't it, Debbie? tell you a secret it might be my birthday this week and uh i am treating myself to going out for dinner how about like that okay so now and there might be some baileys involved too we'll see all right here's our tree punch now this this thing is just really cool now what color do i do with this i better stick with I don't know if evergreen is going to go so good. It's too, it's too. I think I might have to stick with old olive. But I kind of want early espresso. I don't know. Let's see what we got going on here. So many strips. It would be on, I think it's my birthday. Thursday is my birthday, Carolyn. It's also, that's also Brian Pilling's birthday. For those of you who are stamping up demos, you know who Brian Pilling is. It's his birthday, and it's also Jan Brown. She's a UK demonstrator who I love. She does videos, amazing videos. She's, uh, I think she's 75 or 80 years old. She's uh, 
and she just rocks the videos. It's amazing. All right, so when it comes to using this punch, get a strip that is longer. Look at this one. This is, uh, get a strip that is longer than you need and slide it in. I like to start by lining it up over here. Okay, put it in like here, push down. Okay, this is what we get. Now, to just make a great big long stripe of, strip of trees, you line it up with these markings over here. I used to try to eyeball it, and uh, then I realized, <laughs> well, okay, I was just new, and I'd never seen these before, but anyway. So now you just see how I'm covering up the space with these ones. When that is lined up there, punch. Huh? Huh? And then do the same thing on the other side. Line up your trees on this side. Punch. Line it up. Punch. You just do the entire strip and then you can just cut off what you need and save the rest for another project. Ta-da! Got trees for days. Neat, right? Yeah, they're neat. Yes, the eighth. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think I want to strip one, two, three. I should do five, right? We want odd numbers because the eye likes odd numbers. It's a fun punch. Look, Tracy, look. I made a tree card. And maybe I do a couple more in front. Maybe I don't. Maybe that's enough. Maybe enough with the trees. Huh. Hmm. 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 I like that orientation. We will be celebrating our birthday. Shut the front door, Christine. Are you just celebrating? Um, or is your birthday actually on the 8th as well? <laughs> Yeah, maybe you just decided to celebrate. Maybe it's not actually your birthday, though. Who knows? <laughs> Happy birthday. All right. I am going to put glue dots on here. This is the never-ending roll of sucky glue dots. But they stick really well when I don't want them to, right? Isn't that always the way? Oh, my goodness. Tracy, oh, retired one, what are you getting up to this week? Being all retired. Now with your boy home. Oh, how are your teeth feeling? Yeah. It's a oh, look at that. Tracy and I are using the same punch tonight. Yes, how how are you feeling, Tracy? You had some dental work. Let me just tell people all about your life. I need a little bit of noise back here. All right. See, now Gerald isn't, uh, he wasn't working so good last week. He was, sounded like his battery was dying, but anyway. Okay, so friendship. Refresh. F friendships refresh the soul. Oh, okay, I was going to say, there's a typo on there. Okay. Today was the first day I could brush my teeth without pain. Oh, Debbie empathizes with you. Debbie knows all about the tooth pain. She had it for like eight months. Right, Deb? Now. Um, I love, you know, I love my job. I love my job. I love that I have all these toys that coordinate. So this was the dream as a kid that it's like, okay, what embellishment? I have all the embellishments. So now I just have to find the right one that matches and fits here. I want, let's see now, I have too many. Look at this. I found another package of these gold and silver ones, but I know I have an open pack somewhere. I just... Uh, yeah, yeah, I gotta get out all my buckets again and find them. I don't even know what's current. See, the embellishments, I don't go through and figure out what embellishments are still current and what's retired. I could use, these are our in color ones. No, I know what I'm looking for. I just don't know where they are. I know I have an open pack or two. I already looked in this one, didn't I? Yep. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Look at all 
all the stuff I've got. Ugh. Right? Okay. I might just have to open a new one, but I know I have one. And then I'll find it five minutes after I sign off. Ooh, maybe champagne would work. Let's see what these ones are. That's all I'm looking for. I'm looking for the... I thought the... <laughs> Lord love a duck. Oh, the gold looks pretty. I like the gold. All right. These ones are in. The other ones are out because I can't find them anyway. Okay. Oh, people are talking. What's going on here? Um, Gerald was hot too. Yes, that must have been it. <laughs> Outdoor meetups, taking my son and his friend to the movie, prepping for my BOGO, and of course, stamping with the trailblazers. Ah! Retirement sounds fabulous. I guess technically I could say I'm retired too, right? Like retired from the corporate world when I had my second child. I went back to work after my first because I worked for the government and I owed them a year of service. I couldn't. I took the mat top up and so then I owed, they owned me for another year. Yeah, I worked for Statistics Canada. He needs, he needs some twine, man. We need some twine. I need, <sighs> yep. So this is a fun little layout, right? Yep, and I just had number five surgery. Oh, did you? Oh, remove. I thought you were all better. Oh, Debbie, no. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. You were supposed to be better. All right, we will not talk about that right now. I'm going to cut a piece of ribbon that is hmm, 10 inches long. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to use my little bow maker again. I probably should have cut 12 for the while. It's the, the longer your nails are, the harder it is to tie these down things. Okay, how can this be harder to tie than I did one earlier with shorter and it wasn't that hard? Okay, I'm going to go 12. 12 inches. Fold it in half. Okay, tie a bow. Have a double bow. Chop off his legs. Where is my where are my ribbons? Are we here. Clean them up. Ooh, even on the oh yeah, you guys. Oh. Really, Debbie? Never eh? My dad still has trouble with his teeth. Um, but nothing like yours. But uh yeah. Okay. So How cute is that? I love it. What I love, okay, so when I said I love my job, <laughs> like what I just, I love all the coordinating products. And so another thing I should do in my new segment of, huh, who knew? <laughs> um, okay, it's show and tile time. So this is where it comes from is I was, I was sad. And it's not good when Tamara is sad. So I found this paper in this cat, whatever this is called, in the wild paper that I love. And now I can't find. So it's somewhere else. It's probably on the floor, you know. Yeah, I don't know where it is. Okay, well, I'll show it to you on my card. So this card. Here's one of the cards we're making in my upcoming class. It uses the Biggest Wish stamp set and this paper. I'm like, I like that paper. What the heck is that? Oh, that's a magnolia. Hi, Amy. Nice to see you. Ten months. Oh, my God. Sorry, Debbie. Um, 
so this is a magnolia I'm thinking. Thank you, Debbie. And then it was all sad going, well, the Magnolia, good morning, Magnolia set just retired and it's over there. And it's, I think it's even in my, in my, uh, for sale stash. But then look at this. What is this? I hear you cry. I think it's, well, I'm calling it a Magnolia because <laughs> this is pretty much the same sheep as this. So I'm going with it. It's a magnolia, okay? And don't burst my bubble. And then I was looking for this these dyes, and I spent like an hour looking for the dyes, which I did find a dye. Rand, I don't know what stamps that I don't know what it goes with. I found a dye. I'm missing four dyes. Anyway, I digress. So then I found these. Well, these match. What the heck set do you think these came from? I should like do a poll. Now, what the heck set did it come from? <laughs> it came from the most bizarre where'd it go um um <laughs> uh, okay I know where it came from I just don't know where it is it came from the valentine set like this just blew my mind so you're gonna say huh who knew wait for it it's coming I just have to look under all this paper I blame Donna because she made me take this paper out. La la la. I don't know where it is. Hang on. Okay. If I clean up a little bit as I go here, I will find it, right? Let's put this away. Because I'm done stamping now. I've done my whole bunch of cards. And then before I forget, I will take pictures of them and I will... Oh, here they are. Here they are. I found them. Okay. Who would ever think to look in this set of dyes for magnolia flowers, for the love of Pete? Floral heart dyes. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? What the heck? What the heck? Look at this. Okay. I know Nancy, you have this set. So yay you. Because you love, because of this, right? It's very cool. Look at what's in here. Who the heck knew? Because all these little pieces match this die. Now this, I thought, where's that stamp set? I don't know where I put that one and where did I put it? It's over, uh, always in my heart. Yeah. Shut up. Look at this. Who knew? I didn't know. There's a heart. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Valentine, right? It's not for flowers and trees. Well, it sure is. And yeah. So anyway, huh? Who knew? was perfect it's the perfect size you guys that's when I just went I love my job because I was sad that the magnolia stuff retired because then I think why did they do that why would they do that it's retired and now they've got this magnolia paper and I need my magnolia set but no I do not because I have these magnolias okay show and tell for Friday's class now if y'all want in on it you absolutely can um um, I'm, I'm, I'm Carolyn just scooped the last, um, spot that I have sort of technically, if you're long distance, you have to let me know like right now, if you don't have this stamp set, I have to order it tomorrow so it can get to you by next Friday. Long distance is $50, uh, for three cards that I'll show you. And, um, Edmonton, it's $40 porch pickup. Now you get the biggest wish stamp set, which Lord knows what I've done with it now. I think it fell on the floor. Sure did. Okay. So this is one that you need to have. Oh, getting hot. This is one you need to have in your arsenal, ladies. Let's, I'll show you all the different ways that you can use it. And the reason this class is um, a little expensive, it's not, it's not a really expensive set. It's $23. But I'm not kidding when I tell you I spent a good eight hours prepping these pieces. <laughs> That's how much I love you guys. Um, I want you to get value for money. So I did all the hard work for you. But this, um, the thanks, 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 friend. So you've got the big font and then the little font. So this is a, a popular look where they stamp the thanks or hello or happy. And then the friend on top of it. See, that's why I freakishly catalog all my stamps, dies, and everything in a binder showing all I have. I'm flipping through a binder. Right, Nancy? Problem is, I can't do that, Nancy, because I sell stuff off, like, all the time. So I don't even know what I've got anymore. Like, I can't, I can't keep, keep track of it. But anyway, so this is one look with these stamps that I love. That's one card. 
And this card, this is a case for Mary Fish. So same kind of idea. The happy is light and then the birthday is dark. Now, Mary, she used a white um, ribbon and it's great. But A, I don't have any left. I used it all. And um, the roll that she used, it's a full linen and it's part of a two pack. So you don't actually get very much in a roll. So it's not very it's not conducive to doing a class. So I did the neatest little cheat on this. Um, anybody who takes the class will figure out how I did this. It's not too bulky. You know, it's not really going to bulk up your postage um, for the cheat that I did. I even pre-tied those bows for you. That's how much I love you. And the third one, I got to play. Now this, I seriously was regretting my, my choices on this one. But I love it. But holy die cutting. Okay, ready? Drum roll. Ready? Oh, look at him. But look at the die cutting I had to do. One, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces. The nice thing about these dies, this is from the plant, oh, some plant set, I don't know what it's called, um, is that you get two of these. So that didn't take very long, but you only get one of these. And I'm like, look at me using five of them, dummy. So I had to cut 12 times five. Oh my gosh. So yeah, you, I'll post a picture later because <laughs> it was chaos. But I love this card. And so this one, I just use the hello friend side by side. So it's it's more versatile than you think. I know, right, Denise? And I'm like, why, why, why do I do this? I don't normally mind it, but I was down here yesterday all day until about 10 o'clock. <laughs> so, but I love this. I love this look. Um, I love this font and I love this set. So yes, $40 for a porch pickup, um, but I have to order them. What day is today? They were, today's Monday. They're closed today. So if I place an order tonight, I'll have it for local. But if you're long distance, I don't know how long it's going to take to get there. I mailed today's batch to Ontario because there's one, my one friend, it, it'll get there a week from Thursday and the class is next Friday. So if you're interested, there's still time, but please just let me know, message me right now if you want in. $40, $50 for long distance. Um, look at tonight's card. Oh, it's so adorable. I kind of love that. Let's put these away. Let's recap, shall we? Because it is 7.58. How do I do this every week? How is it that I manage to get this like one hour, week after week after week? I guess I just stop talking when it's time to be done, right? But look at all these cards, gals. My bucket of water. One downside to Jenny Craig. I do find it very salt. Like, it's so yummy. But afterwards, I'm dying of thirst. <coughs> Pardon me. All right. So we've got all of these different cards. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Well, he's naked. <laughs> he doesn't get to get shown. But we'll just pretend that I made this one tonight. And this one. And the dragonfly one I must have mailed away because he's not in my stash. So look at all the cards we've got with this one layout. And I think they, I mean, obviously they look different. They're, <laughs> they're different papers and everything. But I don't know. Like they just have a different, I, I wouldn't. I don't know. I wouldn't recognize them as the same layout necessarily, hey? I love them. Well, Amy, get on it. If you want, Amy, um, I can. you can just take the class only is $35 if you have that stamp set. Um, mind you, it wouldn't get to you in time because I haven't cut, you know what? You're in Ontario, right? No, you're not in Ontario. You're here in Edmonton. Your mom, your, your mom was in, in Ontario. Um, I'd have to cut more because Carolyn took the last spot. But anyway, um, I can cut more. There's time for that, but uh, not time to mail and cut. But thanks. You don't remember doing this one, hey? This, oh, what happened there? How'd I do that? Oh, I did push the button. Look at that. Okay, well, it's me again. <laughs> Hi. Oh, look at me in green. Doesn't go with my glasses though. Now I need glasses and a dye job, man. Look at that. Anyway, I digress. All right, I am going to take pictures of these and it'll take a few minutes, um, obviously, especially if I forget, like I did one week. <laughs> I for totally forgot. I went off. I was watching TV and the next day I'm like, oh, OK, so I'll do that. And then you guys post yours in the comments below. And sometime before, mm, did I say July 1st on the last night? No, I sent some of those out. So I think I'm OK. Sometime before Remembrance Day, <laughs> I'll mail you a prize if you win. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. I was exhausted today. I thought, oh, I don't have it in me to do it tonight. I'll be so blah. But I think I was pretty perky, considering how tired I am. <laughs> 
Anyway, I'm off to see if I can watch the new RuPaul. We have to go get Crave and see what my daughter is doing. And um, meet me back here tomorrow. I'm going to do a Check It Out Tuesday. Oh, thank you, Lucy. What do I say? Il n'y a pas de quoi? Does that make any sense? I think that means like you're welcome or I don't know. That was my standard response in grade 11. Il n'y a pas de quoi? I don't know what that means anymore. <laughs> thank you. Uh, right. Tomorrow, be here at seven and I might do a tent card. I might not. Who knows what we'll do? You never know when you, you never know what you get with me, right? All right. We'll talk to you tomorrow night. Have a great evening. Bye. <laughs>